All right, so this is our last round. So we have the top two, strongest decoy versus Sing Vlar. Okay, that will be... Started. We just started. Okay, yeah. started. Let's go. Let us spectate the uh, champion game. The winners of this match will get... $8. $10. Both of yep. them get 8 points, right? Uh, yes, the both of them get 7 points. 7 points. 7 points, so okay. 7... So it's 7, 4, 3... Two. 2, 1, I think. No. Yeah, something like that. 1, 2, 4, 7, yes. Okay, let's dive in the game. Wow, so, so the strongest decoys is up to a very strong start. Track yep. and the 15 gold. What, what late game items does he have with the econ? He's got horn, he's got uh, helm of the dominator. So his deck seems to be pretty strong. PA, was, Bounty Hunter and Debbie. He was the guy who, who, who got a turn 3 helm just now, right? Oh, right, yeah. Turn, turn 3 horn. Yeah, turn three horn, yes. Yeah, it was he was it was him. And he has mine and payday as well. And two slays as well, so he's completely not afraid of any like thunder height shenanigans. And he also has two thunder heights. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. The opponent is red blue, so it's totally fine. No thunder height. Yeah, just, no just a Salamene, you know, incarnation of Salamene to worry about. Two ogre, ogre conscripts and one mad mispelager. Another bad flop for for team for bad deployment for Singla. Yeah, it's not he can't do anything here. You can whirling death, I guess. Kill the PA. Yep. But PA will heal. Yep, definitely gonna heal PA. Or can even remask. It's four units. Okay. It's awkward. You want to play all these three cards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or you, you can flask and then remask. It's, it's, it's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, so heal and remask. I think if you, if, you, if you heal, you don't remask, right? You, you develop one of the black creeps. Oklodi yeah, probably. Push for eight. Yeah, he can do that as well. Uh, you want to play the Tyler Asset Sensor. Oh, wait, he doesn't play anything. That is... <laughs> that is not what we expect. Uh, the thing is, he lost initiative, so might as well play something, right? Just uh, push that lane. Initiative doesn't really matter that early. You, yeah, you might as well just play the cards. No, exactly. Since since you know he already doesn't have initiative, might as well just play it. Six. Oh, Tyler here. here. Okay. That's a good. He level. has he has seventeen gold here. Oh wow! Yeah, you're after, right. Seventeen after gold. After clearing this board. Nice. So that puts him in a helm range. Helm. What does he buy? No, nope, no helm. No, helm is nineteen. Yeah. Sorry, no helm is nineteen. Nineteen? I don't know, fifteen. So you play, no, you play Luna oh, middle. 19. You play Luna middle, and you you, you deal that one damage. Yeah, the upkeep. Upkeep on the B. Easy. Oh, man, yeah. there you go. Yes, yeah, easy. Luna mid. Get the extra charge. B. Okay, so with Magnus going middle, it's 50-50. 50 fifty. Yeah, fifty fifty. So I'm actually rooting for Singla because it looks like he's a slightly better player. Although yeah, blue red deck as well, which is unique compared to just black green, which is pretty hard, much normal. Harder to play yep. blue red. Yeah, red black red blue is harder to play. You're right. But strongest strongest decoy has like a really good deck in terms yeah. of like construct constructed wise. He's got yeah. disciple. He's got some nice cards as well. Okay, so I think Murder you plot. play the Legion Standard Bearer to trade with the PA. Probably do that, right? Fighting Instinct does nothing. Yeah. Okay. So you trade. You know that PA has equipped a, a health item? Yeah, it's yeah, a rest health item. So, for PA to survive, it has to be. Uh, oh, he remasks another lane. Why don't he? Why don't he remask this lane? Yeah, it's yeah why? Lane. Was it a mistake? And, and save PA. Not sure. We will see like that. Six, that. six creeps. Yeah. Was oh, he mistake? wants to keep the. Uh, Debbie alive. Debbie, Debbie alive. alive. Ah. 
to play yeah. maybe uh, Oglody. Oglody no, or not, not, not that cool. good. Hey, sorry, Crew is next turn, my bad. Yeah. Oglody. Not really that. Doesn't seem very good. Yeah. Intimidation. <laughs> I think it's like the portal here as things are. Yeah, things are the portal, yeah. No, no, no questions asked. Now, uh, another consideration is to play the dimensional portal on the right. But I think it's better to play it right here. Puts a bit more pressure. Although the cleric is very good. Cleric is one of the best draft. One of the best green creeps in draft. Because it never dies to melee creeps. And it kills melee creeps. Yeah, and it always heals. So do you arcane the sword here? I think you keep, and then you don't, because this is a trait. Unless you are looking for some key cards. Is there any cards that he really wants here? Uh, his hand is fine, I think. I think his hand. Yeah. He can get a conscript. I guess. I think you keep the initiative is important in this match. Okay, so you don't arcane the sword here. Yeah. I don't like this TP scroll. I think is. Preemptive. I think I'm fine with the trade. Killing blue heroes. Fine. TP scroll has a lot of value later in the game. Yeah. Does he yeah. put the bounty hunter in bottom again? He just he just wants to get it back full health. I think I think I think so. I think so too. Yeah. So you just TP just to save bounty hunter. Yeah. You you don't want to strand it in the, the top lane. Yeah. The dead lane anyways. So Kifi, right. But I think I think you go left. Okay. Oh mid. If you go left you you basically uh, you are recontesting the first lane, right? Which uh has some value. Now he, they're just taking this for free. Hmm. He can refugee the mid lane? Yeah, probably. Right lane? Bottom lane. Bottom lane, yeah. okay. Ah, oh, right lane. So... He can coop the uh, Beastmaster? Yep. But he doesn't. Have, yeah, he was summoned first, so he will still lose the key feet. Or he can face and then yeah. So do you cook the key feet or the beast master? I think you cook. Seems like key feet is a better target, because. Uh, or neither. Yeah, I'm not too sure about this ogloody. Yeah. First Maybe he's just afraid of discarding Thunderhide. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess he can uh, heal heal up the Debbie now, but not really that low of health. Five. I would like the Oglody in front of a creep. Yeah, not this master because he just dies. Yeah. It's okay that he loses the mid tower anyway. Do you want to eclipse here? That's uh, one, no, not enough. Three charges only. Three charges. Foresight, foresight to draw. Yeah. Or I do think you... foresight. Nothing else that you can play. Now, do you want to coop the GP, or do you just want to hold on to that? I think if you coop, it pushes for seven more damage, which is fair. Yes. Yeah, so. But you might discard Thunder Height. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's always a Thunder Height. Okay, so he, he chooses to Arcane Assault. He has a 20% chance to coo cool his uh, Thunder Height. Yeah. Does he take it? Does <laughs> he I'll, take that risk? I'll take it. But at the yeah, same time, this coup is not that impactful. Yeah, it's not. Because Luna's going, coming out the next turn anyway. Be a bit better. Right. You want to cool when on the turn where you want to lock him out of option. You if you are cooling on the right, you cool this turn because this is the six mana turn. 
Is that ec Eclipse turn? Yep. So now Sing Lao just passed. Yeah, he wants to keep initiative into the... At least... The middle lane. Yeah, the middle lane. At any cost. Oh, okay. At any cost... Clears the right lane of... Does he clear the right, right, right lane? The, the PA. PA still alive. Oh no, he put he put the Verdant Refuge there. So... Okay, so you eclipse here, and... One of the heroes will die. Yeah, one, one will die. Or if he's lucky, both will die. Yeah, if yes. lucky enough, both can die. If he's lucky enough. So it's four charges, it all four hits two. the hero. <laughs> Well, the thing is, if Luna's uh, Lucent B, uh, if it hits uh, Magnus? Magnus, it would have been killed both of them. Uh, it's not Maybe. No, sorry, Maybe. Sorry. Still, still, a, still a chance, yeah. Yeah, still a chance. A slightly more chance of killing both heroes. Yeah, I think you do it. Oh, wow. okay. That's still okay. Not deadly, but it's alright. At that least one hero's gone. That is better. So if. Do you want to track? Do you want to track Luna? Oh, we can heal it. Okay. I think Luna is not going to die here because he, he's better, he has better field control. Yeah. So I think he don't, don't do anything. Play the trebuchet, right? Yeah. And maybe play the Seraphim shield here. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> Just to stall it, I guess. Stall out damage, yeah. <laughs> you stop. Four damage, six damage from uh, from Four, the two no? two creeps six, oh, yeah. Yeah, with, uh, with the beastmaster as well. So yeah, I think you pass here. You want to save Luna? Save the health of Luna. Not too sure about this. Yeah, yeah. So, so this stops. <laughs> the creep is not dealing damage. Six damage. <laughs> Stop six damage. So what do you do here? <laughs> Hard, tough choice. Tough choice. At any cost? Haha, <laughs> no. The thing is, you can e hmm. Eclipse doesn't... You <laughs> draw first, but if you draw first, you might get cooked. Cook, yeah. Yeah. Tough choice, tough choice. You probably have to draw first. Right? But Eclipse doesn't do much though. No, it, it might do nothing completely, yeah, do nothing. you know. Now if you're lucky, you can kill one hero. You if you're lucky, one hero, or two creeps, if you're lucky as well. <laughs> or nothing. <laughs> or nothing, yeah, exactly, you know. <laughs> you want to smash the defenses first? Get rid of something? Uh, I'm going to draw with Jimoi. Yeah, I think if you're drawing first, you always go for the Jimoi draw. Yeah, because of the coup. But it's like a 25% for <laughs> strongest decoy. Okay, this should okay, tell us that he has coup. Yep. So or, he might. Or not, because the Jomo is dying anyway. So, do you still want to smash the defenses and then at all costs? You just smash, you have no play, no other play. The foresight for two draws. And Whirling Death keeps. No, it doesn't keep. Well, Whirling Death doesn't do much. No. I think smash the refuge, and then okay. Huh? Battlefield control. Now you at any cost, right? Kills at any cost. Kills kills the, kills the kills bounty. Kills everything except for uh, the PA PA, PA and sensor. Yeah. yeah, sensor. So PA and Timbersaw and I think we maybe don't do it here. So it battlefield control and move the bounties. Attack target to some somewhere else. Yeah, and you can even whirling death to kill him as well. I think. Oh no, not enough. It's not enough. So. Yeah. Okay. And he's four mana. You are not afraid of cool, so you definitely do the battlefield. Yeah, battlefield. Bounty to the creep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. There you go. Punished for from being greedy. The strongest. <laughs> Strongest decoy. He could just cool, right? And push for 11 damage. Yeah, he could have. 
this is the uh, eight mana turn. But he has no, he has no, no green. green, no green. Unless he gets a blink here, no blink as well. So what what he can do is he can intimidate his own enchantress. Yeah, move it somewhere else. And 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 hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> hope for the best. Where would you want to move it? You want to move it to the right lane. Right lane, yeah. Oh, right lane is the best. Middle, I guess, is not that bad as well. Middle lane. Oh no, he's just gonna let it go. Okay. That is a safer play. You use the intimidation uh, offensively. Yep. Can you draw uh, here? Since you do not have initiative. Foresight. Yeah, foresight. Yeah, foresight to draw two cards. And then you can drop a, like, a bronze legionnaire as well. That pushes uh, four more. It puts him in Leto next turn. You probably keep the bronze legionnaire for the charm blocking potential. Mm -hmm. On the right. Okay. And it pushes for two because of the. <laughs> oh yeah, the seraphim. Is he gonna play anything? Is he tempted to play anything? Oh no, no, it's taking last turn. I think he should just pass. Yeah. The no, safe play. The safe right. play is to TP out your Luna. I can push okay. two. Here okay. The safe place is to TP out Luna. Because you know your Jomoy will get cooked, yeah? Just... Okay. Very high possibility that Jomoy is going to get cooked. Cooked, indeed. He's being what very he draw? greedy. He draws a gank, he draws a gank. He can just gank the uh, Jomoy now. Okay. Gank it with the PA. And then you coop the timber saw. Not enough mana, right? Oh, not enough mana. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Keep forgetting manas. <laughs> Would be nice if he has like. Salamine. Salamine. <laughs> With no blues. So the question is, he is can it helm of, he can help a dominator the salamine. Right? He has a helm. Okay. Yeah, he has a helm. Okay, so punished. Okay, so he has to, gank, now. Yep. So gank now is just push, pushes for six more damage. Six damage. Yeah. Doesn't do anything else. It's so just gank up here. I guess strongest uh, decoy likes to be greedy. Yeah, that, <laughs> he's making some optimal plays. That is why I'm rooting for Singla. <laughs> he can actually murder plot for yeah for PA? eight more damage. Yeah, so push it at six health. Yeah, you do it. Oh, two health, uh, four health after murder plot with the short sword. Yeah, definitely do it, right? And you have your tri trebuchet. Yeah, yeah, oh my goodness! Oh, it's Leto. Why? He's wait. It. Oh, he wait. What? What? Why did he go to Timosaur? Okay, I think this is a major troll. <laughs> that was that was confirmed Leto, right? With the trebuchet. He, he was the, at four, the right? So yeah, he was at. It's a two turn from the tre trebuchet. Yeah. Now, yeah, mm. I, he's going to get punished. Yeah, I think, I think it's, it's a throw. <laughs> was a throw. He's going to add any cost and just clear the board. X and leave the... the Magnus. Yeah. But, but he has the... the... the Thunderheim at all part for... strongest decoy. Yep, so probably not punished too heavily for that misplay. Wow. Yeah, I guess when you're this far ahead. And giving up initiative, that is dangerous. Dangerous. Now it keeps with six charge. So I think you have. If you're afraid of Thunder Hide, you go for the Eclipse and hope that it kills the Magnus. Or. At any cost, kills everything but the. Magnus. Yes. Magnus and the Tyler's at And the sensor. The sensor. sensor, yeah. Yep. Golden ticket. Someone. So do you eclipse or at any cost here? At any cost would be 
the most obvious play because Eclipse is what six six charges. Six Eclipse charges. is a uh, high rolling, so that's uh, nah. That's no. not not that's not it. That's not it. No. Oh, not he can it. he can play an Anacost now. Yeah. No, but it doesn't kill. Uh, doesn't Magnus. kill the Magnus. Yeah. And he so, dro- so strongest decoy what drops the thunder hide right now. Yep. Well, he gets blocked by the, or he, but then he can't play at any cost. Exactly. Hmm. Yeah. Thunder hide deals six, which is. So he cannot play at any cost because if he yeah. plays at any cost, then kills he himself. Yeah. He goes. Okay, praise for a helm of dominator. <laughs> much more interesting. Uh, okay. <laughs> If that, if that was the helm, if that was the helm, if that was the helm, yeah. If that was the helm, though, <laughs> be, that would have been. Or Ooh. a horn. Okay. No, there's there's no play here. So if Timber Sword lands in front of PA. The. The primal raw, would be super good. Yeah. Yes. It it has to land on PA. And the creeps is not helping at all. Not helping Singler. I think no, Strongest no, no. Decoy has very good luck throughout his run. Do you, you guys agree? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, even in the draft. The creeps has been landing well for him. Draft is very good. Oh, oh, wait. It landed. It landed I can't in. See it. I can't see it. Yeah, it landed in front of PA. That's nice. That's, uh, that was that's, the, the, that's the ideal, ideal thing for Singler. But he doesn't have initiative. He yeah. gave up initiative by equip, e- equipping the, the Magic King the Magic Mall. Mall yeah. Yeah. So that could have that cost him the game. Yeah. So Strongest Decoy just needs to cool the uh, Timbersaw next game. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. So you know he has played 3 Eclipse, so he's not afraid of anything else. Okay. Yeah, I think Singvar knows that he's he's done here. Yeah. He's trying to make stronger decoy <laughs> to play a card. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on, give me a card. <laughs> give me give me initiative. But stronger decoy knows nope. Nope. Don't need to. Don't need to, I win. So So Coop in the Who will end this, yeah. Or intimidation. Yeah, that too. Yeah, that, that's a, yep, intimidation, there you go. And that's GG. Okay, can he save it? So he can redirect the Thunder Height to Luna. That would be, that, that's not enough. That's 14 damage. Oh no, that's still, uh, that's still Siege to the Siege. Yeah. So 8 damage gone. Siege as well as, yeah. It's not enough. So that should be can GG. You, can you add yeah, any cost? So Does I'll that help? No, it doesn't help. With this crazy green black deck. Huh. And any cost get rid of two. Yeah, we get rid of two. Oh. Nope. So not enough. No, not enough. No way out. He's not gonna play his cards. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, All right, so we have our first okay, qualifier winner. Yep, our first qualifier winner, the strongest decoy. You, 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 Jashun, you sounded so unhyped. <laughs> no, it's just like, okay, wow, no, no, I was just really tired because it's like, <laughs> I think my brain is dead right now, I can't really think straight anymore. Yeah, so we I have a it's, winner. It's, it's All right, so. Strongest Decoy is our first champion. Okay, how many games do we have left? So we have three more games. All right, so all, the result is almost, uh, it's already decided. So I think our top, yeah, let's, let's look at Nemfi and the other guys. Are yeah. they, so are the, they, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, No, they are, they are, I think they're too yeah, far to get any points, right? They're still competing for the top 16, it's possible. So, we have points for top 16, right? Yeah, top 16. So, looking at the current uh, wins, I think uh, they are still both competing for 
possibly in being in the top 16. Okay, let's let's look at the Nemphi card, a Nemphi game. Uh, looks like it's the last turn. Nemphi is. So Nemphi is taking down the Ancient. Yeah, never. Is that an Ancient? Is no, it's Tower. It's a Tower. Oh, okay, Tower. tower. Okay, so on the right lane, can Nemphi do anything? He can Chain Frost, but he doesn't have Initiative. What a Tower. <laughs> So game mm. is not ending yet. Go Cobra! I think you the divine intervention for sure. So then Fee, you heal your leech. Heal your leech and <laughs> what else can you do? You can't do anything. Can do no nothing else. Yep. I don't. On I don't hi on hindsight, would have been better to. Oh no, he can't. He has to defend this lane. Yeah. Yeah, he has to defend this lane. So you just play a payday here, right? <laughs> Seven gold. Yeah. Or you don't play. You keep the initiative. Then you drop the axe on the right lane. Right lane or middle lane? Or, or mid lane, yeah. yeah. Leech is gonna die. There's three positions that you can be in. So I don't think you eat here, right? <laughs> you don't eat anything. The sacrifice. No. You can eat the bounty hunter, but that's. Draw two cards. Is there anything that you're looking to draw? Annihilation? Probably not. You want to play yeah, a chain it? frost. Yeah, chain frost. Hmm. Maybe chain frost is not as effective with the Verdant Refuge coming in. Can he lethal in the first? Uh, let's see. You can yes. put the axe at nine. Not enough. He has short sword slot, so that's two, eleven. He has to draw S So Venom. <laughs> two. <laughs> okay, it's a stretch. Oh look at the creep spawn though. So let's look at the second lane. A second reddit redden red redden refuge. Verdon refuge. So then we just have to stall for one more turn. Yeah, he has to survive the mid lane. Oh, he puts the axe there. Yeah. Berserk call does. Oh, this is a good Berserk call position. But it kills nothing, right? No, no, Berserk call. The uh, middle one. No, it doesn't. Okay, okay now. Yeah. No, but Berserk call doesn't keep you alive. Oh, he still no, dies. Yeah. If the left Debbie survives and basically will push it though. Oh, well. yeah. So you can't call here. So you can't basically call here, it doesn't help. So you have to block you with the... Block the Enchantress. Tyler State. Tyler oh, you chain frost. Chain frost kills something. Nothing. <laughs> it, it can almost kills a creep if it bounce four times. Oh. Okay. Now uh, he can... Yes. Oh, he has no mana to chain frost. He can Tyler State the... Yes, he has, he has the Tyler State. The Enchantress. State. Yes. yes, yes, he has to. It's a... Trebuchet. Trebuchet is gone. Wow, that, that, that was like 30%. <laughs> he has to tell it and block the uh, yeah. Enchantress. Enchantress. Yep. Okay. So he saves him. He can heal up. Oh no, that's not. Yeah. Right. You heal? Uh, he, can, you he can heal the heal, axe. Yeah. He can save the axe. Yeah, you heal for sure, right? But I think there's no need to heal it. You just go all in on lane 1. No, 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 no. You have to heal. Your lane 1 is not, not enough. Enough. Uh, you don't. Uh, you, you don't guarantee to have enough. 
True, true, true. And he can drop Bounty Hunter deck. Oh, he could have Rookery. He could have Rookery, uh. Tower? He could, he could have Rookery his uh, axe into Debbie to kill it. I think due to the, the tower damage is more important. True. Hey, how much damage? Oh, 3 health. Yeah, you're right, you're right. 11 damage on the tower. Oh, right. Glody. It's not Glody. So, hey, Leech. So, that's 9 more damage. And he has 1 creep there. So, he can't chain frost that creep. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's not enough. He can Berserker cause the creep. If he if depends on placement. So forty one. Oh, no, the the creep will just die to the serpent wars. What are you talking about? Alright. I see if enough. Oh, disciple, that's it. <laughs> he has enough. Oh, no, it's no black. Yeah. Oh wait, he is black. Disciple that's it. Horn. Oh yeah. Oh he, he has horn on the alpha. Like... Okay. Oh yeah, he has horn. Okay, he that's game. Back. That's, that's game. game, that's game. And then disciple. Oh, okay. That's game. Yeah, he had enough of all interesting. Alright, so all the games are done. Alright, cool, cool, cool. All the games are done. So our, we have our top 16. 1, yeah. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16. Yeah, we have top, our top 16 for our first ever tweak qualifier. Yeah, uh, all the way until reach when. Yeah, reach when. Yeah, all the way. Yeah, it's exactly uh, points up to reach when. Cool. And then we have our first champion, strongest decoy. Congratulations. All right, all right. Cool. That's nice. So Un undefeated. Undefeated indeed. All right. So we have. So this that this is it. This marks the end of our first uh, twig tournament. So congratulations to uh, the strongest decoy for being our first winner and uh, you get the $10 uh, Steam credit and for the top 16 players, congratulations, you now have points to qualify for the uh, Twig Invitationals for December. Uh, congratulations guys. <laughs> and once again, thank you to Zero for joining us. It was yeah. a nice pleasure to have you on board with us, to cast with us, even though you, know, you had to leave earlier, but sorry for holding you up until 1am. No problem. Hope, hope thank, you fun. Yeah. thank you for having me. All right, cool. So once again, thank you all for watching. Uh, those of you on stream, those of you on uh, Facebook, Twitch, thank you for joining us. And uh, those of you who participated, thank you for participating as well. And uh, once again, just another reminder, uh, our donation is still ongoing. We have a donation pool so that, you know, uh, if you look at below, we have a pri Story, uh, donation guess, pool for the, the prize pool for the, January. Is this about right? So if you do, if you can contribute, do contribute uh, from the kindness of your heart, you know, and let's hope to make this uh, series of competition much better in the future as well. Uh, also, one more thing, uh, do join the Discord if you have not joined it yet as well. Uh, if you guys have seen, today's tournament was pretty cool and pretty wonderful. If you guys are interested in, in joining, do join our Discord and check out the link. We will post the link for next week's game on Tuesday. Uh, and we will also probably announce a prize for next week because we have uh, kind members of our Discord group giving us prizes as well. Um, yeah. That's Anything all. else to add? That's all. You guys? It's a wrap. And... Yeah. Any... All right. Anyways, thank you guys for joining in. Tune in next week for our uh, tweak December 2018 qualifier number two. And uh, I guess that's it, right? Yep. All right. GG from the GG branch. Ciao.